Yeah, well, part of that really is we wanted to appeal to uh, the young market, <clears throat> considering that a lot of people are saying that this is a millennial election, um, given to the fact that uh, uh, I think more than 50% of Philippines is below 25, and therefore, um, assuming that all the young people vote, this, this elections will be decided by the young people. And, and for all intents and purposes, uh, this election is for the young. So we thought, you know, um, apart from being different from the other networks, we would like to be the network of choice for um, young Filipinos. When I launched Bilang Filipino, I did say that uh, I wanted this to be my contribution in terms of ensuring that by the time his son is able to vote, that you know he will vote in a in a in a situation or an environment where um, it is more free, it is more informed, and people are more educated. One thing that that works nowadays is authenticity, and authenticity simply means that you um, you come out as natural as possible uh, in terms of how you communicate, whether it's a show, whether it's a documentary, whether it's information. So um, I think it's the authenticity that sort of counts for a lot, and, and we believe in that. Uh, we'd like to pride ourselves as being the most authentic uh, news network. We don't, uh, we're not biased for anybody. Uh, we, the way we approach it, it's, it's, it's straightforward, it's very candid, uh, sometimes too candid. But I guess young people like it, um, because if you look at the way we approach it, it's very educational. Um, it's very, how do you call it, interactive. So, because people learn through interaction. No longer is the passive giver, receiver type of communication works, right?